What's up? Welcome to Live Talk Thursday, everybody. As you can tell, I have a very, very special guest in the studio here this evening, and uh, she is gracing us with her presence. I actually wanted her to be here last week, but due to unforeseen circumstances, she couldn't be here last week. And uh, my sidekick, Tyler, is actually watching this in the airport, flying home. So, Tyler, we're miss you, bro, and uh, Bree's filling in for you. So, I'm your stunt double. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> yep. And and I don't think she's going to bust up as much stuff as you do. So, hopefully not. So, anyhow, we got a big show here for you. We got a lot going on. I know there's been a lot of people blowing my stuff up all day long talking about this show tonight. Yep, we got some giveaways. We got all kind of cool stuff we're going to give away. And uh, we got the Fisher shirts we're going to give away. We've got some fly jerseys that... Oh, hold on. Miss got some background music for us there. What song oh, are you listening God. to there, Melissa? Who let you back here? I don't want you guys. Oh, well, hold on here. Let me see what we got going on. We're just going to pull you all up so we can see the comments. That's not really a good picture, but we got some comments. Oh, we got a lot of comments here, sis. Oh, Mary said Bree's the best. Bree. Thanks, Mary. I'm Brian with an A. Yeah. <laughs> Mary who? Mary Clawson. <clears throat> oh, okay. All right. Mary. What's, what, hey. I mean, I only know one Mary. Mary's the one that said Bree is the show. I know. I know what she said. Yes, girl. You don't need to you don't need to remind me. I know what she said. It was false. It hurt his feelings. Yeah, yeah. And we're still, you know, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you, we're still working on our backdrop here. You know, we set the camera up for one angle and then we end up seeing what's going on up above us up here. So like you see that up there? I'm sorry, I'm still working on all this. Um as a matter of fact, I looked up the other day on uh, live videos, what to do, what not to do, and we're pretty much doing everything wrong at this point. But you know what? People are loving it, and we got good numbers. The Facebook numbers are out of this world. I think we had 20-some thousand people tune into the show that we did last nice. Tuesday. So, Woo! yeah, 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 give it up. Yes, slow clap. Slow clap. I know I Bring walked out here. I was like, there's so much gray and black going on, I look like the great mm. pumpkin. So, it's festive, though. Well, I mean, Brie was, what'd you do today? Uh, me and Bronson, we went and got our marriage license. So that's, it's like official, pretty much. And I did my final dress fitting. Me and mom went and did that. And we were running so late. We just, we pulled in the driveway, sliding sideways because we were running late to get here for this. <laughs> Bronson made us dinner, didn't he? Oh yeah, Bronson made dinner. He, we, he had dinner ready for us. It was, it was interesting, we but had... it was good. It was good. He did great. If uh, you've ever heard of sweet potato soup, um, that's what we had. <laughs> he did put the marshmallows on top, though, and they to were... cover up the soupiness. It was it was just marshmallow stew, and then he <coughs> threw some marshmallows on top and in the in the sweet potatoes. And just kind of mixed it all together. So I could have used a straw, but it was still good. Amazingly. Oh, the best good. was I called him on the way home. I said, hey, dear, can you finish dinner? He said, finish it? I haven't even eaten yet. I was like, no, I mean, finish cooking it. That's a, that's a guy. That's a total yeah. dude move. Yeah, that's it. What's up, Robert? <coughs> I'm still trying. To, I'm, I'm doing pretty good on this cough. I went to the doctor again yesterday. It seems that nobody can figure out what's wrong with me uh, besides, <coughs> like, having some chitis. Some bronchitis. So I'm working through it, struggling. <coughs> I got an inhaler here somewhere. Oh, it's over Hi, there. Hi, Allison. Oh. What's up? Oh, someone said I'm a better looking co-host than Tyler. Ooh. <laughs> and I don't have to wear a deep V. <coughs> wow. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, go to the Facebook page and see the live talk from Tuesday. Cause... Yeah, that's a hard, that's a hard, like, dig. Oh, Bree yeah. is the best. And she ripped a donut. Uh, <laughs> well. She ain't afraid to get muddy, is she? she oh, I'll give it a heck of a shot. Yeah, she ain't afraid to get muddy. <clears throat> yeah, she's cool with that. So you got you guys got any questions? I know we were talking about some stuff all week long on Facebook and uh, on YouTube. And one of the things we were going to talk about tonight was um, communication, helmet communication. And that's one thing that a lot of people hit me up. I just got hit up today by three other people that didn't tune in to any shows, but they wanted to know about helmet communication. So I'm going to go over that here quick, and then we're going to get into answering some questions and uh, giving some shout outs <clears throat> and taking care of all that. But here's what we use. Um, it's a little bit on the higher end, but 
Um, it's, I mean, still, they, they're they awesome. have... They're they, worth it. Yeah, I mean, it, when you're out on the trail and you're using, like, the rugged radio, how is it? I mean... Oh, it was epic. It was... It totally changed the riding experience because when you go riding, you usually, you blah, blah, blah. You usually only get to talk to the person in the side by side with you. But here it was like, it was awesome. We went with the NASCAR crew and it was just great. It, I felt like I was in NASCAR. It did. It sounded like you were at the track. They're talking to you when you're going around the corners. So, um, we're <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. I'm just dying here. Uh, we're running the rugged radios and this is the waterproof, uh, ATV kit. And here's how it like all gets hooked up and I hook it up in the side by side on an ATV. It doesn't matter because, um, you know, I just put from machine to machine and I don't know if you can see all that stuff right there, but here's how, here's how this apparatus works. Freeze the helmet holder. So you plug your, uh, radio into this thing if I get in there make it look easy we're gonna just we we are live <laughs> oh, that, oh never mind I bent that one that's why oh. it's not going in never mind I bent the end on it so it won't go in there but anyhow that plugs into that okay and then this plugs into your helmet like so and then you have earpieces in there which is this setup. So you have earpieces inside the helmet that uh, it's just like earbuds. They kind of go in the side. And then uh, this is the mic. It goes in the front by your mouth and you just talk and you use this button right here. It's a push to talk. You push that and you're talking, you're communicating with everybody in your group. So if everybody has one of these radios, you can communicate with everyone. It makes it Really cool, and I highly recommend the antenna extender. This is uh, separate. It doesn't come with it. The antenna that comes with it is probably about that long. It doesn't do a very good job. So you want to get the extender because you can talk a long way with the extender on there. Isn't there somewhere you can like listen to music? Yes, right here. The, yeah. This is your uh, auxiliary, like your aux port, to plug your music into it, plug your phone into it. And then you can pipe it right through your, your headphones. Uh, so it goes your through phones. your helmet. And then yep. you can listen to it. And when someone goes to talk, it'll like fade out a little bit. But yeah. it, I mean, it, you can listen to music, talk to everyone. It's awesome. Yep. So anyhow. Jess wants to know, Jesse wants to know how well do they fit in your helmet? You don't even know they're there. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the ear, the ear piece is just tucked right in the side where the holes are. A little padding. <clears throat> and I use a hot glue gun. And, and put this in right around the chin piece here and it just sits right there you right in front there and and you actually like want it to be touching your your mouth like you want it really close um, so that way you don't get any wind and you can get really good clear reception when somebody's talking to you but these are a game changer now I think this set here it comes as a whole set it's the waterproof ATV kit and I think it's like 700 and some bucks now they do have one that's cheaper than that and it's a blue radio. Um, I think the only difference is that radio is not waterproof and it is, uh, I think it's a good bit uh, cheaper or more inexpensive, yeah. um, but it's like the same radio. Uh, Even you know, if you with, don't get them for the whole group, it's really good if you're going riding with a big group for the front person and the back person <clears> to have one to say, okay, we're gonna cross this road and then the back person can tell you, okay, everyone's across, go ahead. So it kind of keeps everyone together and everyone safe and on the same page. But it's really excellent for talking smack uh, and, and busting each other. That's others. how people get hurt. Yep. Well, I mean, you know, somebody thinks they're fast and they start talking. And, I mean, it's just cool. And uh, even uh, Phil from SendItOffRoad.com, he rode with us at Hatfield McCoy the last time. And he had uh, Rugged Radio set up in his Razor. And we had him in our Maverick Trails. And it it's just excellent and I mean there's some other options out there and I'll probably cover those uh, at another time but um, you know Midland uh, they make some pretty good stuff and they're uh, a lot less as, uh, as expensive as this um, and you can still do like an earpiece like a secret service type earpiece uh, so they work pretty good now they have the ones that you can put in your machine in the side by side and it's like a CB um, so like you know you see them in Jeeps when people are jeeping and rock crawling and stuff um, you know, you can just use the CD and, 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 uh, talk to people. So we have those two and I'll cover those some other time, but 
I mean, two-way radio <clears throat> communication on the trail makes a big difference. It makes it a lot more fun. You can keep everybody, you know, safe. And uh, it just makes a big difference to someone me. Someone asked if you're able to talk to someone in the same side-by-side. -side. Well, if you have the... I mean, you can if you just hit the push to talk, but the whole group's going to hear it. So you don't want to say nothing personal. Uh, like, you just cut the cheese. Or, you know, you just tore it up in here. You know, something like that. You just don't want to just air that out everywhere. Um, if you have the the unit that goes in the side-by-side, -side, um, and you can see them if you go to Rugged Radio, uh, that you can talk to the passenger. <clears throat> the driver and passenger can talk to each other, listen to the same music, and the music will go down when you guys talk or when someone else talks. So, which, you know, um, if you're in a group of people and you got somebody that's that's button happy, they just love getting on here and talking, and somebody else in another unit is trying to listen to a song, they get ticked off and they come back and they're like, shut up, I'm trying to listen to this song. And then you can really get onto them because you can just keep talking. Yeah, and then you can go back and forth and be like, hey man, you know what my favorite song is? No, what is it? Oh, Chris Stapleton. You know, you never heard that song? Oh, no, I never heard that song. And then you get another shut up, and it makes for good riding. <laughs> G-Man said, wedding is just around the corner. Oh, yeah. It's coming up. Dad yeah, hasn't kidding. seen my dress. He hasn't. I saw someone, Austin put on here, he said, go live at the wedding, <clears throat> hashtag forever a fisher. I love that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yep. That is yep. true. You're born into being a fisher. You ain't getting out. Not even marriage can get you out of this. Supposedly, Dad has like a really good speech prepared, and if I can get this cough under control, it's going to be epic. <laughs> if not, it's going to be halfway good. I mean, I'm gonna. The doctor did hook me up. He gave me some uh, cough medicine. He said, "Listen, you know your speech is going to be tough enough without a cough." He said, "Before you go up, you know if you still have this cough, hit this." He gave me some codeine cough syrup. And he said, you may not be awake long after the speech. He said, but this will take care of your cough. So, and he said something about mixing tequila with it. I don't know if he was serious. Ooh, I, we're allergic to tequila. Ooh, tequila makes <laughs> the toes work. fall off. It don't work. You can ask Bronson. He had to get a whole new uniform. His blues, dress blues. He's getting married in his dress blues. Why do you have to get a whole new uniform? Oh, he decided to roll in the bushes. But apparently it's a thing because they just had their Marine Corps ball. Uh, some of his friends did. They sent a, him a picture. Their whole dress blue was just mud Trashed. everywhere. Yep. Gosh, they act like they're not expensive. Just go roll in the shrubberies. Marines act like they ain't never drank before when they go to one of them. <laughs> they're all hammered. I hope nobody attacks us then. All that training. <laughs> Down the tubes. What we got going on here? Tyler is on his way back. He went up to Pennsylvania to visit our 98-year-old grandma. Her yeah. birthday just was, what, the 18th? Mm -hmm. October. October 18th. Yeah. Yep. So mm -hmm. he went up to visit her and show her some love. and Because we got so much going on here. So we're going to go up around Christmas. Wolverine X2. I didn't try the X2, but I tried the X4. And I did like it. That thing was super smooth and quiet. Uh, but I did not... <laughs> get a chance to run the X2 yet, but it was a, a good machine. I rode in the back and in the front, drove it, you know, tested it out, and it's pretty cool. Mm. So if anybody else has one and wants to jump on here and tell me what you think about your X2 or your X4, I mean, there's a lot of Xs now, ain't there? There's an X2, an X3, an X4, and they're made by different companies, by different manufacturers. I mean, what the heck is going on? Jim from Colorado, what What's is the up? best way to stop UTV... Tire rim bead leaks. Um, I mean, uh, bead locks. Uh, I mean, bead locks. <clears throat> it depends. I mean, you know, you might be running them a little bit too low on air. So when you're coming into corners, that tire's folding under and you're getting debris up in between the tire and the rim. I've seen that happen a lot. Actually, Tyler does that uh, quite, a bit. quite a bit. Yeah, I got one out here right now. It's got dirt between the tire and the rim because he rolled it. Uh, so that's what happens. Um, and sometimes it's just maybe it's a little bit uh, low on air pressure and you come into a corner and, you know, the tire folds over just enough. The lip gets away from the rim enough and gets some dirt debris in there. So when it shuts back up, now there's like something in there and something foreign and it's not going to make a good seal. So bead locks is an excellent option. People are saying bead sealer, clean bead, then sealer. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot of 
you know, uh, a lot of things to, to check out there. And I will tell you one thing. Um, I do tips on this all the time, but your tire pressure is extremely important. On an ATV, you notice it more than a side-by-side -side because on an ATV, it's going to be pulling you really hard. And your neck, at the end of the day, is going to be killing you. And on your side-by-side, -side, it's going to feel like, you know, it's just not tracking right. It doesn't feel right. Um, it, <coughs> sorry. It doesn't steer right. Um, you know, there's, there's a, a lot of things with tire pressure and, and how much to put in and what tire you're running. <coughs> so there's a lot of, man, it gets deep on the tire pressure. And I mean, I'm not as good as like, <coughs> like Kurt Busch. Like we were at a NASCAR race one time and he came flying in, locked it up, slid sideways and said, I need a 10th of a pound more air in the right rear tire. And he went out and he was on the track. He's like, oh yeah, that's it. That's what I needed. I honestly couldn't tell you if I had a tenth of a pound more air in one tire than the other. But I guess when you're going 200 mile an hour, everything's magnified. Mm -hmm. And he knew it because he started, you know, getting up to the front. So Speaking hey, of that, someone him. said, Brian, your buddy Tony Gibson will have his hands full this weekend. Better get him a, give him a good luck shout out. Yeah. Well, Tony was supposed to come to the wedding. And Miss Beth. And Miss Beth. Uh, but unfortunately, Rodney got uh, his hand slapped because they had something with the spoiler and he got suspended for two races and uh, that just is how, how it works. I mean, Tony and Beth, they were all upset they couldn't come, so we're going to miss them, but hey, Stuart Haas carries on. We're rooting for you. Kicks some butt. I think he went to Phoenix. I think he went yeah. to Phoenix this week. Yeah, so uh, go get him, Tony. We're thinking about you, buddy. Kick some butt. Yeah. What tire pressure did you run on your trail, the Maverick Trail? He has the same Rockabilly tire as Jeff Wharton. Yeah, I ran uh, eight pounds, eight pounds of air in those. <coughs> and that's the thing, uh, when I was running like IT, <coughs> ITPs, man, I'm working, I'm struggling through this, man. Uh, You're doing a great I'm, job. I'm telling you what. Hey, maybe next week I'll be like 100% better. Uh, but the Rockabillies compared to like the ITPs, um, you know, the ITPs, I was running like 12 to 14 pounds, but the Rockabilly uh, is more of a structured tire. Um, <coughs> so uh, I, was, <coughs> I was running eight pounds in that, and it, it does perfect. Now, when I first got them, I screwed up and put like 12 or 13 pounds in them, and they, they just skid, <coughs> skid across everything. And I was like, ooh, I hate these tires. But if I would have read how much air pressure you were supposed, <laughs> supposed to put into them, it would have uh, been a lot better. So now that I got the right air pressure... I love them. Do you so, need your puffer? I might. Can you give me my puffer there, Melissa? I sure can. Better I'm gonna... build. Can-Am or Polaris? What's this? Better build. Can-Am or Polaris? Can-Am. Can-Am. Can-Am? Oh, yeah. I have a friend at work. She They had a Polaris razor, and they just got a Can-Am, and she came in, and she's like, I should have listened to you a year and a half ago. She's like, that thing mm. rides like a Cadillac. She's like, it's amazing. Listen, I'm going to tell you like this. This is live, and I'm going to cut, right, cut right through the mustard. This is the real deal. I get to talk with all the corporate people on all these manufacturers. I know a lot of stuff that I should not tell you and that they don't want me to tell you. And I'm going to tell you something right now that probably a lot of people don't tell you, but it is the truth. I was in a meeting with Polaris and their executives told me that they make more money off of parts. That's where they make their money than they do off the units. That's why when you go into a dealership, it's 3000 less. It's a whole lot less because... You're going to get it off the floor cheaper, but in the long run, you're going to end up paying a lot more in maintenance and labor and everything else. And all the dealers that I know that carry Polaris, they had to build additions onto the service bay uh, just to fit all of them in there, just off of, you know, warranty issues and things breaking. And that's not, I mean, hey, that's their model. And a lot of people buy them. I mean, I have a couple of them and that's just their model. That's how they do things. You know, you look at someone like Honda, you know, they're like, hey, you know what? We want to build it. We want to build it right. And we don't want it coming back. We don't want to, we don't want to make money off of parts, uh, you know, as, as much as like some of the other manufacturers. And there's some auto manufacturers like that. You know, I mean, honestly, straight up, my Ford truck that we have right now has not given us any problems except for right now, which transmission, but uh, it's got 170,000 miles on it. But my Ram has had 20 times more problems than my Ford. So, I mean, it's just it's just how the manufacturers make them. They know when stuff's gonna break. My Ram had 103,000 miles on them, my rear end blew out. You know, now they stood behind it and they covered it, but 
at 103,000 miles? You know what I'm saying? So... This Tyler Fisher person, he's just, he keeps blowing up our comments. Uh, he said, Dad, he calls you Dad for some, I don't know what that is. That's me, up. yeah. A lot Please of you guys tell. have the same name. A lot of people. There's, they make shirts and everything. Yeah, Coffee yeah. Mugs. Mm -hmm. Coffee mugs and number one dad. <laughs> Please tell Mike from Michigan why the Axon is so much better than the stock winch. The Axon is better Axon. than the stock winch. Uh, which, which stock winch? I mean, it's, the Axon right now is the best winch on the market. Hands down, period, the best. Uh, it's waterproof. It's got uh, an overheat function in it where if it starts heating up, it shuts down. You can't burn it up. And it's the design of it. It's just, man, I mean, they really, really did some good work internally with the gears. Uh, I mean, it, everything from the remote. Uh, there's even a light on the remote that tells you when your winch is starting to overheat. And it'll change colors. And then it just shuts off. And then it gives you time. It cools down. And then you can use it again. But that winch, I'm telling you right now, and it only takes about 20 minutes to install it. So you look at how long it took to install a winch years ago or even last year. You know, the Pro Vantage. It, you know, you'd have to take all day two cases of beer and 10 buddies to put that thing in. But now you're talking 20 minutes to put an axe on in. So big difference, big difference. And it's a good looking winch, man. I mean, it is good looking. I almost brought one out here and sat it out here. And I didn't on it. <laughs> so, next time. Ronald said about he has a Kawasaki Terex with no problems. I like the Terex. Yeah, the Terex is bulletproof. We rode those in Hawaii, and they were, they were nice. The Terex, and I did a review on this, and if you saw it, the Terex is overbuilt. I mean, those things are like tanks. Uh, I mean, they last forever. Uh, you know, my buddy uh, in Hawaii that has a, a rental company, he puts seven to 10,000 miles on his Terexes. You know, there's there's not a lot of machines out there that are going to do that on rental units. People beat the crap out of rental units. So, Terexes are built good, man. They're overbuilt. They're definitely a, a durable machine. Mike from Michigan said, I have the Defender Cab XT stock winch. The, the, the what? Defender Cab XT stock winch. Oh, you got a super winch. That's probably a super winch. Yeah. Because that's what they put on mine. Yeah. I take that crap off. Just throw it in the water. It's just a boat anchor. That thing sucks. I'm going to tell you right now. Robert wants to know about Spearhead or Outlaw Trails in West Virginia. I say Outlaw. Yeah, Outlaws are fun. Uh, I'm going to Spearhead next year. I'm going there to do a shoot. <clears throat> so we'll let you all know when that is. Maybe you all can join us. Uh, but Spearhead's next year. Spearhead's uh, where you went, ran through the mud. Remember? Splash. Oh, 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 big with, splash. With big the splash. Poop water. Yeah, I do. She remembers that. Yeah. It was like sewage. My clothes still stink, so yes, I remember. Well, I got that jersey. I think I'm giving it away tonight. Oh. It was in the sewage. Oh, yeah, we got some giveaways we're going to do. Look at that. I already signed that one. Boom. <coughs> so all I got to do is put your name up there and ship it to you. So we're going to have some giveaways. and. Uh, I don't even think we washed it. Uh, yeah, it was washed. <laughs> don't smell like poop. Smells like era or, you know, some snuggles. Um, but <coughs> so here's the deal. We're going to give away some stuff tonight and, uh, we're going to do it a little bit different. I'm actually going to have Melissa probably look through and call some names out because some ass nugget tried bucking the system last week and sent their name and address in to get a free shirt. And we never, we never picked them. We never sent them the confirmation to send us an email. So guess what, dude, you didn't get a shirt out of us. You didn't scam us. So, you know, you just make it bad on everybody else. So, whatever. Now you ain't getting a shirt. But anyhow, somebody else is going to get a shirt. That's what happens when you try and cheat the system. Cheat the system. It's what happens. <laughs> so, somebody's getting shirts. I got jerseys. I got I got these. We, I wore these on the show. So, you get an official one on the show jersey. <clears throat> Here's another one. Well, I just dropped one, so I don't know who gets that one. This one's definitely muddy. That one is... That one's all kinds of money. That one's seen some stuff. And then, man, I'm telling you what, I got some gloves. I'm giving some gloves away, some fly gloves. I like those. They're too big for you. I do have different sizes. <coughs> so, like, if uh, Mary would happen to win a pair, we got her size. <laughs> but these are, like, large, extra large, and then I got mediums. I got whatever. But we're giving some fly gloves away. We got that going on. We're giving some Fisher's shirts away. 
courtesy of senditoffroad.com, who's carrying all of our apparel and Mudman's apparel and a bunch of other off-road uh, folks' apparel. So, <coughs> and maybe <coughs> inhalers. Okay. I think Phil's going to start carrying inhalers. <coughs> Someone asked what your speed was tonight on your inhaler. I got it on the back. It's uh, 182. 182. I'm qualifying. Austin wants to know about the 511 uh, boots and pants. Oh, yeah. They're nice. <coughs> Why don't you tell him about it? <laughs> <laughs> He's dying! The... I don't really know much about it. I know the boots are awesome. I know Bronson loves them. You guys all love them. They yeah. got like the same boot in four different colors, so they have to be awesome. They're waterproof. <clears throat> yep, yep, The yep. pants are waterproof, all that jazz. See, he got the 511 pants I recommended. Chad Sexton. Kubota. You love them? Never... Good. <laughs> Chad Sexton says he never wins. What's he have to do, buy a can am He got to ride with us. <laughs> I mean, how much more winning can you get than that? Got to see Mudman was hooked up. How about Mudman Jr.? Bree, I saw you like to. Oh, stuff. he's so cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mudman, Mudman Mud Man Jr. Stuff. <laughs> Even I just love watching their whole family do stuff. They're cute. Awesome. Man, I'm telling you what, this cough is killing me, y'all. I know. Last time I did this the other week, y'all were like, "Put whiskey in it. Put this in it. Put that in it." Oh, doctor, have... doctor said I could suck on nitrous and it ain't gonna do no good. So. I don't know. I got a bad case of the, the gizzard rot or something. I don't know what's going on, man. I mean, it wow. is. It's pretty intense. I mean, to tell you. No, I ain't. And for those of you that are doctors, I ain't coughing nothing up. It's just dry. I mean, it's like frustrating, you know? I almost did a cough fart the other day, and it was embarrassing because I was in Walmart. I said, well, <coughs> If you're going to do it, I feel like that's the place to do it. Really. I mean, everybody else. Some, if you do that in Target, though, it's unacceptable. Oh, no, 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 no. Target? You, no. No it's, no, it's up here. But, like, I mean, this old man had to walk and fart, so I figured, <laughs> hey, if I crack the whip, nobody's going to know it was me. You're just going to be like, I'll just be like, believe him? They'd yeah, never know. so, you know, I was tailgating him. Or someone would challenge you. It could go either way. Yeah. He crop dusted me, and I was like, oh. So I got in front of him, and I dealt it back. <laughs> Codeine cough medicine. He's ready for a Can-Am Maverick 1000 R Sport RC. <coughs> yeah, the RC. I'm, I want to do a, a, a ride on that. I want to do a uh, first ride review on that thing. I got a lot of people asking me about that machine. And, uh. I'm going to get one. The codeine cough medicine will knock that cough out. Hey, I got something in there. Don't tease me with a good time. Yeah. I just didn't want to pass out while I was doing this. <laughs> so I wanted to try and at least hang out with you for a little while before I passed out. Do Tyler, you, what's up? Do you see what Eric Robinson said? What Eric say? Where's he Eric? He loves the 511 pants. Super comfy, strong, and reliable. We got three sets for when he was deployed to Africa. Nice. Thank you for your service. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate your service, buddy. So I wear the Strike Pant, and uh, they're awesome. I love them. Uh, they have a, a bunch of different ones, but, I mean, for me, you know, I, I like those pants the best. Oh, yeah. The What's, cough is going around. I better not get it. <laughs> I'm going to St. Lucia in December. I got to stay crisp and healthy. <coughs> What's so, your knowledge uh, of ATV and side by side? You've been around it all your life, haven't you? Yeah, we I grew up around it. Born but... in one. So, like, as far as boots, like the 511 um, Expert 3.0, the 6 inch, that's what I wear, and they're waterproof, and they are excellent for off roading. That's that's all we wear. We all wear them. Uh, all the guys, <coughs> anyhow, I don't. I think the ladies wear heels when we're off roading. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Flip flops. I don't know. Jesus sandals. Oh, you got uh, what? Yeah, you got waders. gator waders. Oh, here's Mrs. Here's Mrs. Off road. Off road boots. boots right here. Some yoga pants. See some... that? That's Mrs. See, she likes because it has like traction. Because like Miss always ends up falling. What? In That's the true. mud <laughs> when true. we're out. So this is Miss, and this is me. I got mine for hunting. You notice I didn't get the the. Teal, green, turquoise, whatever. I got mud on the bottom of these. It's probably getting in my teeth. Oh, I think I got a cough now. Wait, do I suck some of that in? 
Yeah, so that's our, uh, sometimes that's our ride in a tire. Depends on where we go. Um, but man, the 511 Expert 3.0 boots, mm, I think I got four pair of them. Tyler's got three, <laughs> three pair, something like that. They're good. What we got here? Someone went on a honeymoon where you're going. G-Man. Mm -hmm. What was it like? Was it nice? I said, hope you like rum. I like all kinds of alcohol. That's why I didn't make it on the show last week. <laughs> I went to see Clay Walker and Well, I, I wasn't going to bring that up. I was trying to diet. That lasted about two days. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to drink vodka sodas. And I showed up to the thing and I'm like, because I got off work and I had like, you know, an hour to drink my vodka. So I was like, Dad, I got vodka. I got vodka. He's like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Because yeah. it was a it was a dry event. It was frowned upon. But yeah, it was. It was yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I love some you, clay walking. You had a good time. Oh yeah, I had to show my man some support. No yeah. one was yelling. No one was clapping. Oh no, you were just yelling and clapping above everybody else, because you had oh. that drunk whisper. Hey, <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> it, it was. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I got vodka. I got vodka. <laughs> Yeah, that's how Mom's like force feeding me cheeseburgers and we get back and I'm like, oh, I'm ready to do the show. And dad was like, nope, go inside. I said, but I was an invited guest. That is rude. Nope. I, I, nope. I flagged her last week. I said, you can't. But she did come out uh, with her friends FaceTiming. Yeah. But. That was after I ate some pizza. My diet lasted about, you know, six hours. So. Yeah. Well, whatever it takes, you know, that's how it is going into the wedding a couple <laughs> couple weeks before you diet and everything I was, I was gonna diet but I don't know I just I didn't I just I mean I don't want to be short and fat so I was trying not to gain a lot of weight so I mean being short's you know bad enough but you know I don't know whatever I think you get some extra height with your gator I do man look at that I got some like these are like kiss boots like I need a <laughs> heel like that like I'll be all jacked up six foot tall I look six one on tv but I'm not. So if you met me in person, you know I'm not very tall, but that's all right. Whatever. It's all good. Bree says I'm fun-sized. Stephen McAllister, you said you, you didn't seem that bad. You weren't the only one drinking. Hey, did we talk? Because yeah, I don't Steve, remember. S Steve was there, but he... Okay. <laughs> I don't think he was as bad as you. I think Clay was. Because the longer he went, <laughs> the, the, the more he talked and the more slower and the more like... But he, hey, he did awesome. He did a great job. He's like no auto tune for that guy. He did awesome. That's why we were late last week uh, for the for the uh, show because I I was up there had no service. I was gonna try and do YouTube live from up there. It didn't happen. But here's a little inside information. Uh, next week, next Thursday, uh, we're gonna be doing the show from downtown Nashville because. Uh, we, we got <laughs> <laughs> It's the bachelor and bachelorette party. Yeah. So, so what what's going on there with that? The guys are gonna go to dinner at King's Bowl, and then the girls were gonna go to dinner where I work at Jonathan's, and then we're all gonna separate for the evening. But there's like gonna be a contest. It's gonna be a twist, and it's Ooh. gonna be a competition, a little boys versus girls action, and then we're all gonna meet up around midnight and compare the goods. So. <clears throat> And I got some Go bad. Girls. I got some bad, bad news. If you caught Tuesday night, uh, our live oh. talk Tuesday, he's I'm, real upset about. I mean, this. I'm he's like, all choked up. I'm like bummed. The extreme midget wrestling was canceled. Yeah, I know Tyler was crying because he really wanted to go to this. So the extreme midget wrestling was canceled in Nashville next Wednesday. So if you were gonna come to town and go with us, don't bother. I mean, there's a lot of you coming to town for Bree's wedding. I mean, we're going to Amigos. <clears throat> That'll uh, be fun. I mean, there's some short people that work there, but technically, I don't know if they're midgets. <laughs> so, and I don't think they'll be throwing bows off no, the, the side ring no. there. Chips but. and salsa, maybe. Uh, tortillas, guac. but guac. Hooking up to guac, but... And I know Noe won't be there. He's never there. He doesn't work. I went in, We went in uh, last night. He's showing up to the wedding, night. though, because it's an open bar. So. Yeah, he's showing up because there's food and booze. That's why no way showing up. He owns Amigos in Spring Hill in Tennessee, and uh, he's never there, though, so don't bother going we'll, in and asking We'll go him. live at the wedding at some point. We just need to... I think for the father-daughter dance. We gotta keep them in suspense, the speech. Mom. How about the speech? Speech! Well, speech! We'll do... 
uh, father daughter dance. Hmm. And maybe a couple other times throughout the <clears throat> evening. Well, as it gets later, we're not going live. We almost have to go live for a little bit of the band, though. They're a lot of fun. They are. They are. We're having Groove Addiction, and uh, they played my birthday party and the Salute to Sacrifice event. Oh, Brian can throw his butt in a circle. You don't even know. Who said what? She said, Austin said, wait, Brian can dance? Oh, you don't even want none. My linoleum is in the back of my truck. I got cardboard. I got linoleum. I will throw a shoulder roll, girl. Don't you even think about it. Us oh, short right guys right. can cut the rug. You see what you started? I don't got a lot of space to take up. I mean, it's just like, it's all there. That's all I can tell you. Got the, the, the wedding is in Nashville. So, not yeah. too far from home. Where's everybody from? I, I don't about. know about the Honda Talon. They didn't tell me nothing. So, hopefully. I've been hearing for five years this Talon's coming. I think it's a big old BS story. <laughs> You have no idea, Tyler said. Tyler's commenting anyhow. See, Where's Tyler's sitting at the from? airport. Where's everybody from? Is anyone from like way up north where the leaves are just beautiful right now? Pick up a jersey. Give us somebody from Pennsylvania. No, not Pennsylvania. See where everybody's from. Why you gotta? I'll, I'll, I know where I want to do it. Oh, we got Ohio, Maryland, New York. Who's getting this? Oh, oh. G-Man, you live in Murfreesboro. Hold on. What's up? This is a, <clears throat> this is a large kinetic jersey. And this is mine, Ward on the show. So, who are you giving this to? Um, who you, give we it got to New Hampshire in here. It's a large. Who wants a large? Give it to Mary Clausen of Georgia. Nope. Can, Georgia. You get, can I get another pick? No, Mary Clausen. That no go to Mary. <laughs> Mary? <laughs> All right. Woo! Let's pick somebody else. Let's pick somebody else for another one. All right. Hold on. I dropped one here. How about Mrs. Boots? Who wants those? No! They are a size uh, 10. 10, 8 and a half, 9, something like that. Whatever foot you got, you can fit it in there. Because if it's too big, just cut the toes out and stick your foot in there. Who wants these? Huh? Miss don't want to give her stuff away. She always wants to give my stuff away, ain't Tyler? Just give it away. That's mom's song to me. She gives my stuff away all the time. Tyler tried picking out her jersey to give away the other Speaking night on Facebook. Of uh, just give it away. George Strait, he's doing another concert in Atlanta, Georgia. And pre-sale tickets go on sale tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time. He's doing another show? I thought he retired. No, him and Chris Stapleton. I'm getting Bronson tickets for his birthday, so shh, don't tell him. But We're live. He's probably watching. I know. I just want to see if he runs out here like a little fangirl. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> He's going to act like he didn't hear it. But it's supposed what? to be good. So tickets go on sale tomorrow morning if you're interested. Okay, we now, got this. I want to know what everybody rides now. Okay, what do you ride? Oh, I'm sorry. I was all... And I have a machine in, in mind, and I'll pick somebody. Oh, Miss has a machine in mind. Tell us what you ride, and depending on what you ride, you could be a winner. It's kind of like when she does pick a number, and you know it's always going to be four. It's her favorite <laughs> it's number. it's her favorite number. Yep. So or like, I got a surprise. If you know surprise. mom, you know what her favorite is. So. I got a surprise. Oh, it's a special treat. Mm-hmm. Oh, you get, cash. get you out on that all the time. And every now and then she'd give Tyler a candy bar and yeah. you would just, yeah, you'd lose That's it. That's how you get him. Do you see it yet, Mom? We got a wildcat. I don't see it yet. Maverick. <coughs> not seeing it yet. Wolverine. Not Blair yet. Sportsman. King Quad. Honda Foreman. No. Yamaha. X3. Ben Rolled. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Austin. Yeah, I know. You broke your wrist, too, dude. Come on. I still don't Pioneer. Mary, you already won something. Back her down a gear. Get off the keyboard. Yeah. Just quit. Just, Share the love. Yeah. Come on. I want to see How's that. Addie doing? I she good? I see it. Addie's good? I see all them baseball picks and Calm all the stuff. Mary said. <laughs> hey, we didn't ship you your shirt yet. Yeah. So. I might misspell your name. <laughs> Oh, I just saw Cheryl Atkinson, Terex. Cheryl, Yay. Cheryl Atkinson. Good job, Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl, Terex. Okay, so. Cheryl needs to, what do they need to do? Send us, <coughs> send us an email. Uh, our, or on our website, send us an email with her address. Okay, go to our website, fishersatvworld.com, and send us an email. There's a, there's a link on there. You can send an email. I'm not sure where it's at, but I know it's there because I get emails from people. Uh, as a matter of fact, our server was down um, 
for a little while and we had 1,700 emails that we didn't know we had. So we just found them. So if we didn't email you back, you could be one of the 1,700. We're trying to sift through them right now. We're just starting to answer them back. So please bear with us. Uh, we're working on that. But send us an email with your name, address, and size. Or not size. Well, I'm giving yeah. you, I mean, yeah, sure size? Yeah, send us our size. Okay, send us your size. You'll get whatever. I mean, I got shirts that are different sizes. We got vodka. So, we got vodka. <laughs> so, whatever, you know, shirt, size, whatever. Jesse Robinson. Boot size. I, I hope care. you feel better. What's oh. wrong with him? He got the freaking uh, I don't know if it's cough. Weird. I have lots of time on my hands because of the broke hip and second operation. Wow. Okay. I thought my so cough was feel bad. feel better soon. Yeah, I thought my cough was bad. Jesse talks to me all the time. Like, he messaged me earlier. He was like, dude, is it on tonight? Are we doing the YouTube talk show? It is on. New Holland Boomer. Someone said, this is fun. New game, Melissa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Austin's like, ah. Uh. I like to keep it interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brian could have, oh, Brian could have had the, nope. word, the horse to the wedding if he would have taken it home. I'm not taking that horse home. Did you, Chad, did you see that horse? That horse was beat down. It was rough. Oh, God. Um, he was good for glue and dog food. Dad. What? <laughs> I'm just horrible. saying. That, You've been wanting a cat, too. Yeah, I found a little kitty alongside the road. But what's funny is I really did not find him alongside the road. He was at PetSmart. <laughs> That's the kind of crap I deal with all I the said, time with three Dad, kids. I found a kid and he's so chilly. He's going to freeze. Nope. I don't. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> and Bronson's allergic to cats and he's in the little cat bin. You can go in at PetSmart and they're crawling all over him. I'm like, go for it. Nope. Um, mm -mm. We got three dogs here right now. Laura, your dog is stressing me out. Tyler's girlfriend's dog, Ella. Ha. Oh. That's a whole nother level of stress. I'm telling you right now, she's like, oh, I can't even tell you. No, I got, brought four toys home the other day. Oh, yeah. Miss got four toys the other night. Ella went through them all in less than like two and a half minutes. Ripped them all up. Yeah, that's what happened. That's what we're dealing with right now. And Bree wants to bring a cat home. I don't but, think but so. But he was all black. He would match Max and Zook. No. It's all about Max. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, Max has to have his spleen removed. He's bleeding, uh, somewhere on the inside and, um, he's real weak and like anemic and we have to get it removed. So the vet wanted to remove it <coughs> like, um, now, but we wanted to wait till after Bree's wedding because there is a chance that, <coughs> you know, uh, it might not go well. And with his stitches and stuff, they didn't want any added stress for yeah. his recovery. So we're just... Uh, so pray for Max. Keep him in your thoughts. Send him little doggy bones. Yeah, he's <coughs> he's tough, Bella. though. He's just weak. He's real, real weak. And uh, once we get him taken care of, his spleen is twice the size it's supposed to be. It's like 24 inches. It's supposed to be 12 inches. Yeah, like 12 to 14. 23. 23, 24 inches. Um, so... Yeah. That's what we're working with right there. Uh, Miss and I got up the other night at 2.30 in the morning with blood all over the floor. So we were dealing with that uh, for a couple hours. And then we took him to the vet. And But we got him squared away. We got him to where uh, we can get through the wedding. And then he's going in, I think, the beginning of December to get it out. Uh, so that's what we we doing there with Max. The OG, he's... I think December 5th is nine. like... Yeah. So he's 9. He'll be 10 at Christmas. December 26th. Yep. So, he's a Christmas dog. And she's a Christmas baby. Yeah, 21st. Yeah. We're a bunch of Christmas right. folks. Let's give away something again. All right. Let's give something away. Okay. How about um, <coughs> your favorite park to ride at? Your favorite trail system or park? Favorite trail system or park? Do you have and one in your head? She I has one. one in my head. Do you have one in your head? No. Nope. She has one in her head. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is your game. You. Oh. <laughs> It's oh. a big cat with yarn. <laughs> I tell you what, while we're doing this, Tyler brought up a good point. Super chat. Uh, last week, somebody donated uh, a couple times, $5, $15, uh, the super chat. I'm sorry, I didn't know what that was. I went and researched it. So uh, if you do a super chat, it helps support us, our channel, what we do, helps keeping uh, the show alive. Um, so if it's even like two bucks, there's a, a feature there. You can just hit super chat, donate two bucks. 
whatever you want to do, we'd appreciate it. Uh, be, but now I know what it is. So for those of you last week that did donate to Super Chat, I'm sorry. I didn't know what it was. I had to go research it and find out about it. And uh, I will. thank you. I, I, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. But I will tell you this. For you supporting <coughs> us through the Super Chat by uh, <coughs> sending me cough medicine with Cody. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, through uh, the Super <laughs> Chat, if you make a donation, um, and it could be $5, whatever, whoever makes the highest donation, uh, we're calling them personally. So we will call you personally and talk to you. We'll talk about whatever you want, your dime, your time. We'll BS with you. We'll talk off-road. We'll do whatever you want. So Tyler and I or Bree or Miss or whoever's around, uh, we're going to call whoever has the highest super chat. So if it's five bucks, guess what? You're getting a phone call if that's the highest super chat. But we appreciate it and it supports our channel, so we're going to support you for supporting us. Woo! Woo! What, what are we this? giving away? Uh, I need some trails. I need some <coughs> trails. Parks or something. Riding parks. They've Pocahontas. Giving you like Rush. I know, but Adventure World. Mm -hmm. What is Super Chat? Gmail wants to know. There's a thing at the bottom, and it should say like donate. Button. Like right here, there's a dollar sign. I don't know what this does. Let me see what that does. So if I hit the dollar sign, your amount and message will be public. So you could put in there. Like you know, two dollars. Like here it says a dollar ninety nine. So uh, the way that works, if if someone gives us <coughs> if someone gives us ten dollars, we basically get five dollars because there's a processing fee. So basically, if it's two dollars, we might get like you know seventy five cents. But we appreciate it, whatever it is. So at the bottom, <coughs> there's that super chat. You can put in whatever dollar amount <coughs> you want. So Brie, go get your cre <coughs> credit card. Oh and, yeah. And give us like twenty bucks. I better get like a percentage of it too. So like there's a super chat. So now I don't know how to get out of it now that I got in it. Let's well, send it. I'm, He's not technologically inclined. And she can't say it. So we're both screwed. <laughs> this isn't vodka. Mary. Okay. What was that you were giving away? I want to see what you were giving away. Mary, I'm not even reading that. Yes, Mary. I'm not even reading that, Mary. We should send her another shirt. Hey, Jeep. Hey, how's the Jeep, Mary? Then you get a Jeep and you're building a house. I need to get a job where you work. Did you see your trail system yet, Mom? I did. I did. What are Who you giving it? away? What are you giving away? I Whatever. saw it pop up. A Fisher's t-shirt. A Fisher's t-shirt. Fisher's. My, my ATV life. My ATV life. I was thinking the Paiute Trail. Oh, yeah, I know him. You know him? Yeah, I see his stuff all the time on Instagram and stuff. Right, my, my ATV life, you want a Fisher's t-shirt. That's coming from senditoffroad.com. Phil's going to hook you up with that. I got to write job. this down. Mm -hmm. You read Melissa's mind. That's a scary place. <laughs> wow. There's a lot going on in that, especially today. She's stressed out with the wedding. She wakes up at 2 o'clock in the morning. They thinks, said they can't see the chat on the screen this week. The chat? The what? Like the comments? The comments or super chat? Comments? You can't see the comments? There's a. There should be a way that you can... Like I can see it. Little, uh, maybe it's just your phone. That little uh, toggle bar thing, maybe. Hit that. We're all new at this. I mean... Other people can see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, other people see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Then tap the screen, he said. Robert said tap the screen. What else do we have to give away? I like all seeing right. people win things. All right. How about some gloves? Makes my heart happy. Yeah. How about some gloves? Some fly gloves? How about the... This one is a media glove. You can operate your phone wearing it. <gasps> but don't text and ride. No, don't ever do that. Uh-uh. Nope. What were you thinking, Mom? The next three people what? To send in messages. What do you think? To the info box. Ooh! We just got us oh. a super pack. Wow, Eric! <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Yeah. You the man, Eric. Dag on. Thank you, Eric. We appreciate that big time. Tyler said about a Facebook. Call. Yeah, we could do a yeah, we could do a FaceTime call. Yeah, uh, Tyler's at the airport coming up with all these ideas. He's probably soon getting on the plane because he's soon going to fly here to Tennessee. Thank you very much, Eric. Appreciate Aww. that. That is awesome. We appreciate you, brother. Thank you for supporting us. And uh, 
I mean, technically, that's going to Bree's wedding. So, but we all we all appreciate it. <laughs> Every little bit helps. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much. That all helps. Tyler, the you're channel. boarding now. Oh. Safe trip. I love you. Mwah. He could probably still love watch. Love you too, Laura. He can watch till they shut the door. I mean, yeah. technically. So, I know, but so I'm Eric saying. to email the, his phone number and a good time to reach him. Well, I mean, if he's the highest, that's how it goes down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right true. now, he is he is the man. He's getting okay, we're only a FaceTime. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. That's it, and we're gonna sign off, ladies and gentlemen. It was a pleasure so, spending. So three. People. Email us with your number. Okay. Email us with your number, Eric. Make it rain, riding gloves. Make it just, just make it rain. Oh, Chad said he could use a pair of gloves so I can help push a can am off the trail so I won't get blisters. What is it with him? Well, let me get this straight. Uh, if you check the video that we shot at Hatfield McCoy that's up on Facebook right now that has over 420 or 30,000 views, uh, you'll notice that the A-arm came apart on the one razor. Yes, Kelly. Yes. Kelly. Hello? Kelly said, I'm in. Kelly's Go getting Kelly. a phone call. Go, Kelly. Kelly's getting ooh, a prize, ooh, too. Ooh. Kelly's getting something. She's getting a brand new jersey. Or maybe she should get gloves. Maybe it's Kelly as a guy. Could be. He. Kelly. Yeah, he. He. he yeah. Oh, you know him? No. <laughs> but, I mean. Well, Kelly? I just, I looked real quick. I didn't see the spelling. That's awesome. Kelly Thank you. Kelly, boom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's, cool. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Kelly and Eric. Good deal. Good deal. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you. It helps our channel survive. You know, when we went from television to social media, you know, we lost a lot of sponsors. We still have some solid staple sponsors that have been with us forever and uh, will continue to be with us forever. But, you know, uh, it's just business and a lot of them just uh, didn't want to put money in TV anymore. And uh, they didn't understand the whole social media thing. So they couldn't see numbers as big as what we had on TV. But actually, our numbers are bigger on social media than what we even had on TV. So... It's uh, working out in the long run, and you guys are getting this really cool face-to-face. -face, we like, like this a lot better. Yeah, I mean, this is cool. I know what you're thinking. You know what I'm thinking. We can answer questions. I mean, you know when I'm sick, I got a cough. I mean, you know everything going on. We still use the quick strap goggles. Kelly is a guy. Kelly's a guy. Water That's what I thought. Water dog's husband, yep. Huh? That's water dog's husband. Oh, okay, cool, cool. She's, yeah. Sorry, I said, I think I said she and the, the, I was excited. I lost it. I mean, I <laughs> I couldn't contain myself. I was like, dad, go on. He's I was pumped. pumped. I was jacked. That's awesome. All right, what are we well, doing with Alex? You know what? You, you know what? Oh, go ahead. Uh, Kelly and Eric, they're both getting a call, so I don't care. Okay. So okay. you guys are both getting a call. And if you want FaceTime, we can FaceTime. Uh, just don't be naked because that's just not cool to do that. That's something different. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I'm just, I'm I'll just messing. I'll another $30 from Eric. Oh, Eric wow. is back. Up by a penny, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, oh my hey, gosh. that's how I am. I'm like, oh yeah. I don't think so. Well, that, he did fifty dollars all together. Yeah, the other, so. all together. Yeah. yeah. So you get a prize and a phone call. What was that one guy? He wanted you to do a contest. He hit you up with oh. a contest. That was a pretty good contest. I don't know if we should even talk about that right now. Yeah, I think you should talk about that. So I got hit up uh, about <clears throat> having a, a contest to have a ride here at our house on our 50 acres, like a camp and ride. Um, and then we got a bunch of other places <laughs> around <laughs> that we can go ride. So, I mean, we got all kind of cool places around here we can ride. So uh, we're still working on that. Like five or ten couples come in for a weekend or whatever, hang out, camp. I mean... Whatever. So we're working on that. We're gonna we're gonna seriously take a look Show at that. Show around Nashville. Show you around Nashville. Show you some of the trails. <coughs> <coughs> and oh, hopefully wow. my cough is gone by then. Oh wow. TNT Tech. Oh, this one's for Max. Oh, thank you. Huh? Thank you. That means oh, a lot. Do you want a pair of gloves? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, TNT Tech, thank you, thank you, thank you. That He's is my fuzzy awesome. bear. He means the world to me. Yeah, that surgery is not cheap. I can tell you that right now. I mean, it is like, a woo. Uh, but he's our boy, and uh, you got to get him taken care of. So, yes. But thank you very, very much. And uh, 
All three of you that donate it, send your uh, name, phone number in. Uh, contact us on fishersatbworld.com. Send in an email, and we will be in touch. Uh, we'll we'll email you and find out what's a good time to call you. We're not just going to like call you out of nowhere because uh, I know y'all got jobs and y'all are busy and got lives and you know families and we stuff. We appreciate and, your time. Yes, we do. We appreciate your time and all your uh, donations. You guys are awesome. Thank you very very much. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Tyler said, "Wow." So what do we got? Five minutes? And I'm sure his eyebrow went all the way up. Oh man, he pulled the eyebrow all the way up. Tyler's like, "Woo!" -hoo. I don't even know how he does that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mary said, what email? Uh, you can just go on the fishersatbworld.com, yeah. right? Yeah, if go you, on our website, if, on the contact page. If you go on our website, on the contact page, fishersatbworld.com, you can email us from the contact page. Okay, Mary? All right, let's do some giveaways. All right, we're going to hit some giveaways real quick. We got five minutes, and we're going to cut this bad boy off. So uh, hit us with, uh, what do you want? I want to know. What's a good doctor to go to to get rid of this <laughs> cough? Maybe I should. Give away. Give away the challenger, G-Man said. That's the second time you said that, and Brady ain't out here, no, so. No, he's not giving that away. I'll tell you that right now. He has That's washed that happening. car every day since he's had it. Oh, he came in and saw me the other day at work when I was waiting tables, and under the, the tip line, wrote two free car washes is what he wrote on my tip line. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little stinker. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> that boy. <laughs> so, so who? Jonathan Young. What's up, my man? How you like that helmet? He won a helmet uh, last week, a fly helmet. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. Jonathan Young won a fly helmet last week. And, oh, I got all kind of stuff going on. Oh, Dave wants to come to Tennessee. Wants to come to, he wanted to move here. He was asking where to move to. I get, I told him what county, all that stuff, man. It's awesome. We love Tennessee. Love it, love it, love it. Best thing we ever did was move here. Everybody's cool. You got all kind of music. I mean, it is like, it is awesome. Hey, Brady, what's up? Oh, Brady just somebody, walked in. Someone wants your challenger. Yeah, somebody wants a challenger. Oh, man, that ain't in one of the giveaways. Yeah. So what are we giving away now? What are we giving away? Okay, These gloves still. Okay. We still got gloves. Who wants gloves? <laughs> Give a pair oh, to... there's Brady. What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> Jason Dagenhart. Jason. Jason Dagenhart. All right, Jason, go to fishersatbworld.com. Go to the contact page and shoot us an email with your address. And uh, I think you want gloves. Blake, tell, tell us what size. Blake you Norman. Need. Blake Norman. Blake Norman. I didn't even see that name. It goes is, so fast. Where's Blake? I don't even see oh, it. Right there. Oh, yeah. that's way up Blake there. Blake Norman. Yeah. <clears throat> Yay, Blake. Um, yeah. Sounds like it. Lake Norman, but it's really Blake. Mino Norman. Mendez. Oh, he said I was beautiful, so <coughs> you may have a pair of gloves. <gasps> Mino Mendez. Yeah, he said, Brie, you're, you're pretty or something earlier. Thank you. Oh, see? Oh, great. Make her head bigger than what it is. Yeah, we got to live with this. Does Mino. anyone want two free car washes? We got to live with this. Just two. How about two brothers? Oh, I got two <coughs> brothers and a fiance. Oh, wow. She's giving it all away. <laughs> all of it. All right. So what we got here? I think that pair and not pair like the fruit. What? I think that pair. Allison Wait. Carter. Yes, I'm still single. Flex on him. Flex on him. That's his, a hoodie, so uh, that's his line in every show that we do or everything we do on video. I'm still single. <laughs> he is still single, Allison. What about two free side-by-side -side wash? Ooh, that's, you're going to lose money on that one. <laughs> I would pass on that. Because <laughs> if it's muddy, whoo, that sucks. That's a project. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I want to come ride with you guys, but so we, we got rid have of all the older glass. quads. Mm -hmm. Not, you don't need stuff. new stuff. You don't need new stuff to ride, man. I don't care what you ride. As long as it don't break down. <laughs> that that, that kind of dampens everybody's party when your stuff is broke. But Duct tape and zip ties. Whatever. Together. Whatever. Hey, man, don't matter what you ride as long as you ride. I don't care. You know, it's just like the whole Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Ram thing. You know, everybody gives everybody a hard time. I give people a hard time about riding different things. I mean, whatever. It's all fun. After I ride Rush. I think a car wash is a great tip. Look at that. 
Kubota. And I got two of them, so. Yeah. Wax. It was a bogo. Uh, well, end it with the Veterans Day. Uh, oh, yeah. This Sunday is Veterans Day. Oh. So, thank you guys for your service. <clears throat> yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your service. And uh, we do appreciate it. I mean, Bronson, he's standing up there eyeballing us. He just got out of the Marines. And uh, we appreciate him. And now he's getting married. And he's got some of his fellow Marine buddies in the wedding. So they're wearing the dress blues. And uh, it'll, be, it'll be really cool. And uh, we appreciate all the veterans, past, present, future, their sacrifice, everything they do. And our first responders, law enforcement, everybody for what you do. That's what makes a big difference. And I know we appreciate it because when we go to these uh, parks and all over the all over the country, we meet some of the best police officers and EMTs, and they're there to support us, you know, because we're there doing what we love doing. And you know, honestly, sometimes you know something does happen, you know, maybe not to us, but maybe to somebody else. And they're there to take care of everything, and uh, they're just great people. And some of these towns we go back to. We see the same police officers. We mm -hmm. see the same EMT. We see the same. And, you know, we'll give them a hat or we'll give them a shirt or we'll take time and spend with them. And they appreciate that because we appreciate them. So we just don't want them to think that they're wasting their time and they're not appreciated. So, you know, military, law enforcement, everything. We really, really do appreciate y'all. So yeah. thank you very much. And I think we're about done unless Melissa's giving anything else away. Um, no, <clears throat> unless you want to give something else away. I think that's it. We will... Yeah, uh, we're doing this every week. Yep. Every Thursday here on YouTube. Every Tuesday on Facebook. 9 p.m. Eastern Time. It's Live Talk Tuesday on Facebook. And a Live Talk Thursday on YouTube. So we appreciate your support. We look forward to seeing you all again. Thank you very much. And uh, we will see you next week. So peace out. Bye, peace. guys. Bye, guys. See ya. See ya.